Hi everyone, it's Zoe from Book Reviews with Zoe and today's video is my August reading wrap up. In August I read nine physical books and quite a few audio books and ebooks but I can't remember all of them as always so I'm just going to go with the physical books that I read in August. Alright, so let's start with the top one that's on this pile. None of these books in particular order, but let's get into them. So I finally finished a book from a previous reading month that I planned to read, which was Lani, I mean, Lani Taylor's Strange the Dreamer, which is book one of this series, I think duology. Um, don't know why it took me so long to read this book. I absolutely adored it. It is beautifully written, like amazingly written. Um, can I explain the plot line? No, it's very strange, but I enjoyed it so much and it was beautifully written. So I'll give this probably four stars. The next book I read for the month of August was my buzzword-a-thon, which was Body Parts. So I read The Bone Witch by Rin Pecco, which is book one of this trilogy. Um, I actually surprisingly enjoyed this book. It's got really mixed reviews um, from memory. I'd really found um, what was the main character? T? T? The main character was T, I think. I found her really interesting. I just found the necromancy interesting and the sort of the um inspiration and just you know it was unique i really enjoyed it and so i'll give it four stars the next book i read was the last to read book club pick for august which was their last one because they're closing down their ko-fi which was end paper by jennifer savran kelly this is a queer book queer contemporary i think um this book bloody weird so I can say it was I enjoyed it I found it really interesting and I found it really unique because you had like all the chapters had like words and that was about it um and it goes dual timeline goes back to like I think the 40s or 50s or something and modern times it was interesting weird interesting overall gave it three stars the next book i read which was on audiobook form for my magical readathon was close quarters by william golding which is the one Nobel Prize for Literature in like 1985 or something. It's it's a sea that ships and it's a fantasy novel and I feel like there was pirates in it. Um, it is book two of this trilogy and I hadn't read book one and it probably helped if I had read book one. But that's okay. Overall, it was good, but it hasn't aged very well. You could definitely tell this book was written in, I think it was 1985. This one, it was published in 1987, so it hasn't really aged well. The next book I read was Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead, which is book five of the Vampire Academy series, which I started when it first came out and never finished it. So I finally got to a book that I actually hadn't read, which was book five. Um, what I remember of this is um, not much, to be honest. It's kind of like one of those series that I'm rereading because I want to actually finish this series. Has it aged well? No. It's still a good YA vampire series, but there, especially early on in this series, there's questionable things that go on, but I'm enjoying it. 
and I can't wait to finally finish this series. I think I've got two more books in this series and can't wait because then I can finally figure out what the hell's going on. The next book I read was Kindred by Octavia E. Butler, which is the first time I've ever read an Octavia E. Butler's book. This book was absolutely amazing, like confronting, like seriously confronting. Um, but I also learned so much and learned a lot more surprise being an Australian, I don't know a lot about American history, but I learned a lot more about slavery in America and just, yeah, and it was just confronting. It's not, it's not a light-hearted book and it really does question, you do really question society and why we are so cruel to each other, like, um, but this book is just amazing and just five stars and it was just I can't wait to read more Octavia E. Butler's book works so yeah the next book I read was Reflection by Elizabeth Lim which is a Mulan retelling part of the Twisted Tales retelling um like all of these they're good the uh, they're like palette cleansers, they're not fantastic, but they're good, they're unique, and you know, they give a good twist to a Disney story tale. But I enjoyed it, from what I remember. The second last book that I read was Take a Hint by Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the second book in this trilogy, and I absolutely love this one. It was like, just... <sighs> Danny Brown is just an amazing character and I just absolutely love her and really this series is just like it's such a good romance series and it's just I can't wait to read book three in this one which is Act Your Age Eve Brown and yeah I just love this series so yep and the last book I read for August was The Hidden by Mary Chamberlain. This is an historical, yeah, historical fiction novel. And I also read this for Sufferathon. Um, it's, this book is set in the island of Jersey, which is, was, which was invaded by Germany, I think, in, World War II, um, and it's about women that became sex workers that were sort of, I think, taken from the island of Jersey and sent to Germany and vice versa. So it's, it covers a really sort of unique side of World War II and also just the cruelty of World War II. And this is also goes back into modern day times and people trying to find each other and all that sort of stuff. So it's interesting. It was not my cup of tea, but I'll probably give it three stars just because it was actually an interesting topic. So this is all the books that I read um, in August. Um, had a really good month actually, surprisingly really good month even though I was super busy. Um, yes, so if you got this far in this video, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you for more bookish content, and I'll see you all later.